Auto-tune or Melodyne? That's what we're talking about today. Auto-Tune and Melodyne, by far the two most popular vocal pitch correction softwares out there. There's no way we could cover everything about these softwares in one video, but I'm gonna give you my top pros and cons of each today. Number one, real-time versus not real-time. Auto-Tune says it all in the name, auto. You don't have to do anything to get it up and running. You have a vocal that needs some work, slap Auto-Tune on it, and it's already fixing it with minimal fuss. With Melodyne, you have to take the time to individually correct each part of the vocal, which is actually how I prefer to work, but it does take time. Melodyne has no real-time automatic mode. So if you're looking to edit your vocals quickly, Auto-Tune is the way to go. Number two, harmonies. If you have a singer that's great at performing their main part, but having trouble performing the harmony, take that main vocal, run it into Melodyne, pitch it up a third, and you're pretty much good to go. I've tried this in Auto-Tune. It's just not as seamless as it is in Melodyne. When you pitch a melody that far up in Auto-Tune, it tends to sound more of like a robotic effect, which can be cool, it's just not as transparent as Melodyne. Number three, importing or re-importing without losing work. If you've already made some edits within Auto-Tune or Melodyne, but then need to go back to the track and re-import things, it can get a little bit complicated. When you re-import audio into Auto-Tune, luckily you don't lose any of your work. If you have to fly in a new comp or just fix a bad edit, you can still keep your pitch edits within the graph of Auto-Tune and retract the pitch in and your work is still there. You don't really lose pitch pitch drawing that you've done, you can just tighten it up to fit that performance a little bit better. With Melodyne, if you need to fix something on the audio track, when you re-import that audio, you lose everything you previously edited. Number four, timing tools. So I know we're talking pitch correction, but Auto-Tune added timing tools a few versions back to kind of compete with Melodyne, which is more of an all-in-one. You can edit the pitch, volume, time. Even though Auto-Tune added timing tools, they're just not as easy to use as Melodyne's. Number five, before and after. When you're editing the pitch of a vocal, you're really changing its character a lot. And I find it's really helpful if you can see where the vocal was and where you took it to. Auto-Tune does a great job of showing you this. Whenever you make a pitch change, hey, here's where the vocal was, here's where you threw it. Melodyne will still show you how far a pitch is from the actual note, but once you change it, you can't see where the note used to be. So obviously we don't wanna mix with our eyes, we don't wanna tune vocals with our eyes, but I do think it's helpful to have that original vocal in there there, especially if you're trying to maintain some earnestness to your auto-tuning, to your pitch correction. You don't want to completely mangle the vocal. You can make a lot more transparent edits when you know what the original pitch was. Last but not least, number six, the sound. Auto-Tune just has this certain sound to it. This gloss, this sheen, it just sounds good. It has a vibe to it. Melodyne has a sound to it as well. It just tends to be more transparent. To me, it's a little bit more natural. It does change tone a little bit, but it's not the same as that like, ooh, that's, that's Auto-Tune. It doesn't have that same exact flavor to it. Shawty. Now, I actually think that's a really good place to stop. If we're talking Auto-Tune or Melodyne, I think it really comes down to how it sounds. Let's put them to the test. Let's listen to some vocals without any pitch correction on them. Ooh, you've got a choice to make. Now let's hear two examples with different pitch correction softwares applied to it. I'm not going to tell you which example is which software. Just listen for which one sounds best to you. Ooh, you've got a choice to make. Ooh, you've got a choice to make. You've got a choice to make. Ooh, you've got a choice to make. If you want to dissect these examples a little bit more, you can download the audio files from this video from the link in the description below. So which one do you think sounds better? Example one or example two? Which one do you think was auto-tune? Which one do you think was Melodyne? Leave a comment below and let me know what you think. I'll reveal which one is which on my next video. You're not gonna wanna miss what I have coming up. So make sure to hit subscribe and the bell icon so you're notified when I post the next video. My name is Roy, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.